We're heading back now to Missouri, where Governor Jane Nixon is joining me now live to talk about what his state is dealing with. They're really just beginning down a long road to recovery following the record flooding that they've seen in recent days. Governor, thanks so much for joining me. Uh, we've been looking at pictures and talking to residents from Eureka, Missouri, all day today. You were there seeing the damage firsthand as you've been doing in communities in Missouri for days now. What are you learning? Well, up here in this region, what we're seeing is the water dramatically drop. And the, the river here went up 35 feet, the Merrimack River, a tributary to the Mississippi. Uh, it's now going down, and there's a lot of debris. So we're here with the locals working through a program in which we're going to get a disaster declaration and get this long debris field cleaned up over the next few weeks. Are you getting or do you expect that you'll get the federal help you need? What do you need? Well, we're asking for an expedited, expedited disaster declaration so that we can access uh, folks that are already on contract out there, much like we did down in Joplin, uh, so that we can get debris moved quickly. It's hard to rebuild while you still have uh, uh, all of this stuff here. And in order to get out the damaged stuff, we need to move very quickly. So we'll be working with the uh, FEMA as well as the Corps of Engineers and our National Guard to make sure we get a program to move this out of here quickly. So that's really the first step is debris removal before you rebuild. Once you get past that first step, then where do you go from there? Then you have to rebuild public infrastructure. We'll have teams in here starting next week to get those analysis of what sort of public infrastructure has been damaged and how we can get it sequenced to be rebuilt, roads, bridges, uh, things of that nature, schools, uh, to make sure what damages we have are fixed up quickly. The, do you have an idea at this point of the amount of damage uh, when it comes to dollars that you're dealing with? I mean, clearly in the tens of millions in some of these regions. Uh, overall, I'm not sure what the numbers will be. Uh, be far over any sort of uh, amount that would allow for federal reimbursement, though. This is, a, this is a storm that went all the way from the western side of our state down south, touching the Oklahoma border, all the way to the Illinois border, and then all the way down to Arkansas. And quite frankly, the water is still rising in southern Missouri. So the massive nature of what we're dealing with here concentrated significantly some of the worst damages here in the St. Louis area. But it is a storm we are still dealing with in emergency management side. Tell us uh, about this issue that I think a lot of people paid attention to when you had uh, wastewater facilities that were flooded and you had sewage flowing into rivers. Um, how big of a concern is that at this issue or is that just something that people have kind of been zoning in on? Tell us how big of an issue that is when it comes to drinking water, for instance. Well, it's a significant issue, but we have kept the drinking water clean. We've got the National Guard that is uh, cleaning that water, for example, in High Ridge and northern part of the county just south of here. Uh, we want to make sure that we can guarantee the water is, is clean. So our focus has been on making sure we've got clean water. Uh, we'll get those plants up and operating soon, but we have had to bring in assets to make sure that that water is clean. All right, Governor Jay Nixon, we certainly do appreciate the update. He's joining us there from Eureka, Missouri. Good luck to you. We certainly are keeping all of those in your state dealing with these floods uh, in our thoughts as you uh, move toward a recovery here. Thank you very much.